Hello and welcome to my Friday video. I'm Sarah Chatello with Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're going to be using the Hydrangea Haven bundle, which also comes with these dies. We're going to be using both of them today to make this card. And I've also used some foil from, it's called the Love You Always foil sheets. It's from the, I think, Love You Always Sweet in the January to June mini catalog and to color the flowers today I'm going to be showing you a play on a technique that I've seen. So first let's make our hydrangea. So this technique is called the baby wipe technique and theoretically what you do is you take a baby wipe and you put ink on it and you use the baby wipe as your ink pad. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So I just have some regular baby wipes here. I'm folding it so it fits in my tray and this is just a tray I got at the dollar store and for this technique you use re-inkers. I don't have all the re-inkers so I want to use Rococo Rose so I just have an ink pad here and what I'm going to do is squeeze my ink pad so that ink pools into the lid and that's not enough so I'm going to squeeze it again and get a bigger pool of ink. And then what I'm gonna do is take a water painter and I'm not gonna squeeze, this is filled with water, but I'm not gonna squeeze just yet. I'm gonna try to soak up as much of that ink as I can. And then I'm only gonna use the bottom half of the baby wipe right now because we're gonna be doing two other colors up top. But I'm just squeezing out. When I find that I'm running out of ink. I'm just grabbing more ink and kind of putting it down. You can even tap this onto your baby wipe. I wouldn't recommend putting this directly, the baby wipe or anything directly on your ink pad. I don't know what it'll do to it. I just want to get some ink around there and then I just take a paper towel to wipe off my water painter. Squeeze a little water and that cleans it. And those pinks and reds and stuff might stain it a little bit. That's okay. So we're done with that. And then I'm just going to use the paper towel to wipe out the inside of my lid there. And we're done with that. So then I do have a Flirty Flamingo and Melon Mambo inkers. And then what I'm going to do is over the Rococo Rose here, I'm just going to take a few drops That was the flirty flamingo. And I'm just gonna, and I probably can't see that my hand is in the way, but I'm just gonna drop them randomly and let them kind of spread out there. I may need a little more flirty flamingo. So while that is spreading out, I'm going to give it a little bit time to dry. I'm going to get my stamp ready. We're going to use the big hydrangea stamp here. And I have an e-block. And some granny apple green. And this is for the outline. I'm just going to ink up my stamp. And this is a bigger stamp, so I like to put the ink pad directly onto the stamp. That way I know I'm getting good coverage. And then I just have a scrap piece of basic white here. Oops, there's something stuck to it. And push down. And then for the flower part, we're going to use this one fell out. We're going to use this stamp here. And this is like the fill and this is a two step stamp set. And then I'm going to grab my, I believe D black. Yep. And put that on. And then we're just going to ink this up. Like it is a regular ink pad. And the lining up of this really doesn't matter because we are going to die cut it. See, I don't quite have all the coverage I want, so I'm just going to stamp around. 
but I can clearly see that all three colors are in there. The Rococo Rose is obviously very light because I didn't have, I don't have the reinker for that. Get some more in the middle. You may have to go off a little bit, which is fine. And I like how that looks. So now I'm going to flip my tray around. I know it's some Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. And the reason I have all these is I bought the reinkers in the collection. So this is the Brights collection. And it is cheaper. You save 10%, I believe, if you buy the reinkers in the bundle versus by individual color. So I think the next one I'm going to get is the Subtles. I always recommend the Brights for beginners because they're just, they're usually everybody's go-to color is in there. So there's my Daffodil Delight. Just let that spread out for a minute. We need to clean off our, our stamp here because I need this block. So we're going to be filling in the leaves now. Done with this. Put my leaves down. And then again, just like it's a regular ink pad, just kind of get all around and make sure you get color. And then again, the lining up really doesn't matter. We will be cutting this out. And that actually looks really good. I almost just want to leave it, but I do want a little bit more green in that little leaf there. There, I actually, just, I like how that looks. So we are done with that. And then so what I do is there is some color in my tray. You can either take that to the sink and rinse it out. I just, since it's a dollar store tray, wipe it off with my paper towel set that aside and then to cut this out you get your die cuts oops sorry didn't mean to bump the camera there and then we're going to be using this die cut to cut that out and And when you cut that out, you end up with this. I actually like that one better, but we're going to go with this one. It's the cool thing about the baby wipe technique is you get a different result every time because it's watercolor. It's very abstract. So let me put that aside and clean up these stamps here quickly. I don't like to leave my stamps sitting out, so clean those up and put them away and then we can put our card together and for this card I used a Rococo Rose base. Rococo Rose is one of the 2019 to 2021 in colors. Um, they will be retiring on May 3rd so if you want any of the in colors or oops, anything that comes in the in colors, the ribbons, the embellishments, any of those that is all going to be retiring on May 3rd. So here are our layers. And I, like I said, I have a Rococo Rose base that is cut by four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And then this piece is for our inside. This is cut at five and a quarter by four. And for our layers, I use the stitch, uh, the rectangle stitch dies. And I use the second and third largest die to do that. And then I also, like I said, use the Love You Always Specialty Foil and the Tin Tile Embossing Folder to emboss that. So all I did was place that in there, ran it through my die cutting machine, and it came out like that. And I love foil that's been embossed. I just, it looks so much better than just regular cardstock. So now we are ready for assembly. 
and I did stamp from the stamp set. There's a little teeny tiny for you stamp and there is a die that cuts out this tag and I've already stamped and die cutted that. And we're going to be using the twine from the snail mail suite. It has blushing bride and whisper white. I need some of that. And then the butterfly gems that have all five in colors in them. And like I said, these will be retiring the beginning of May. So if you want those, you better, I would suggest getting them now because I've noticed some of the in color stuff has already gone on low inventory, which means it's, they're probably not going to get much more. And then we're going to be using the Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon, which this will also be retiring because it's Rococo Rose. So now we are ready to put everything together. So I'm going to put my foil piece onto my basic white rectangle. And the way I do this, this is cut at, did I write it down? Yes, three by one and three quarters. And all of this will be on my blog. I will put the blog link in the description of this video. So if you missed a measurement or something, you can just click on my blog. It'll all be there. Put that on. And then our Rococo Rose ribbon and my scissors. Whoops. And then my scotch tape. And cut that a little bit too big, but that's all right. Okay. And then we can put this down to our flirty flamingo rectangle. So that part is done. And then what I want to do is pop up our flower. So I'm going to get out a few Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to put them on the back, but before I pop it down or adhere it to the card, I am going to tie our sentiment to the stem with the twine. Whoops, sorry. I keep hitting the camera there. So first I'm just going to run my twine through the tag there. And then under the stem. And I'm not going to do anything fancy here. Just tie one knot. Maybe. Just tie it in a knot. Grab my scissors and trim off my excess. my twine out of the way and then I am going to add a dimensional just one to the back of that so everything is even. Now we can add this to our card and I just find it's easier to try to tie it to the stem or yeah whatever you want to call it while it's free that way you don't have to worry about getting the placement you want. See, that looks perfect. I'm going to flip that over and put some dimensionals on the back of here. I like to put one in each corner and then a few in the middle. And then we are going to pop this onto our card base. And then we can do our inside and for the inside I just use the stamp from the stamp set and I'll show you that real quick oh wait we got to put on our butterfly I almost always forget the embellishments but then I remember our butterfly is just gonna go about there and it's crooked but that's all right I like it 
So now we'll do stamp the inside and put it to our card and we'll be finished. So I need a, my Rococo Rose ink pad and my stamp set. And we're going to be using this stamp here. This one. And I have a C block. And so what I did is just inked it up and I just kind of randomly stamped. I tried not to overlap the flowers too much. And I turn it just slightly so it's not the same pattern repeating. And that looks good. And get my card back in here. That's not it. Where'd my card go? There it is. Flip that over. And don't forget, if you shop with me this month, I will be giving away the Butterfri Butterfly Brilliance Tutorials for, with a $50 order and the Fine Art Gold Ribbon with a $100 order. All you have to do is use this host code here. And that's our card. All complete. It's pretty simple, but I really love that technique. I wanted to keep the background kind of simple so that the flowers stood out. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will be live again next Friday. Bye, guys.